All right. Assalamu alaikum. Nah, we can do a little bit better. Come on, it's just us. <laughs> Stick with the team, sir. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. That's important, you know. I, I, I have a pet peeve. Has, have you noticed this? I don't know when this started, but people misuse the word Assalamu alaikum, the term. Like, I know it means peace be unto you, but people use it to get your attention. Like, if you're not listening, they just yell, Assalamu alaikum. It's like, Assalamu alaikum, there goes, there goes Bilal. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. He hears me. Assalamu alaikum. I'm like, dude, how much peace are you trying to get this brother, man? <laughs> then we use uh, Assalamu alaikum as a period at the end of a sentence. You ever been in a discussion with a brother and you don't know how to leave? Be a fight going on. He'd be like, "No, that's not like him." Just walk out. So you guys doing all right? Well, I'm telling you how it works. I already know I'm funny. Um, I'm worried about some of y'all. Some of you look like you didn't practice laughing before you came to the show. Just standing in the mirror trying to spook yourself. <laughs> it's all right to laugh, Muslims. Let it out. You know that's our thing. Let it out. I say, Muslim, you know, you should smile for no reason at all. Just to make other people nervous. You ever that before? Be like, <laughs> what is he laughing about? Because people, you know, people, I don't know how people can pick on Muslims. You know, they say they're scared of us, but they don't want anything to do with us. I think that's a conflict of interest, don't you think so? They use terms I don't even know about. Like Sharia, you've been watching television now, they have anti-Sharia legislation. I have never heard of that in I don't know how many years. Now it's like the hot topic. And they let anybody use the word anti-Sharia. Like, I'm looking at television. They had a guy. He's a white guy. He's like 350 pounds on with a tank top talking about Sharia. <laughs> he should be talking about shirt. <laughs> the worst part about it, he's talking about Sharia like it's a real person. I don't like Sharia. I don't want Sharia around me. I don't want Sharia going to school with my kids. Sharia's why my taxes are so high. I'm like, calm down, fella. Then they let his buddy on to talk about Sharia. He couldn't even get the word out Sharia. He kept using the word Shaquita. I don't like Shaquita. Get away from me, Shaquita. Like, what does a black woman with nice braids have to do with his line? See, I'm, I, I, I've given up trying to be the nice Muslim that tells everybody about his life. I quit. You can do it if you want to. I just say what I feel. I believe Muslims, the community would be a lot better off if we just said how we really feel. Like I was with one guy, now we're sitting here, and there was a group of sisters that walked by, now they were wearing hijabs, he looked at me like I was an average black guy. I wasn't, I was undercover Muslim. <laughs> Don't laugh at undercover Muslim, and I get all the information about what they're thinking, I bring it back to you to save our community. I'm this short from being a superhero. Don't mess with me. But I get information because they think, oh, he's just a black guy. And I just play it off. Go ahead, white man. Tell me something. I'm sitting there. And sisters walk by with the jabs. He didn't know. But he's trying to spark up conversation. He's like, hey. You know, he elbowed me. Hey, like, hey, black guy. I was like, don't do that, white man. <laughs> he's like, why do they wear that on their heads like that? And I know it's a jab, but I didn't feel like saying that. I was like, I didn't hear you. He goes, why are they wrapped up like that? I said, because they're ninjas. <laughs> Say something else, they're going to kill you with a star. That's what I'm thinking. Because you can't win. Because you can be a good Muslim, it's hard. It's just, there's some Muslims that are just very good at being good Muslims. Me, I struggle because I try and be good, but then again, I still get ticked off. Like, I'm on a plane, right? I'm minding my own business. This probably happened to a lot of y'all. You're on a plane. You know, it's already stressful going through the airport. You finally get to your seat. Now, me, on this particular day, I'm reading the Quran. okay? Now, the guy beside me has a glass of wine at 10 in the morning. I'm reading in the Quran, you know, and I'm going through it because I figure, you know, if I die, that's the way I want to show up in Jannah. <laughs> so the guy's drinking his wine. He's like on his third glass. I have the book right here, the Quran. He looks underneath it, and he looks at me and goes... Uh, I guess you're a Muslim. I said, uh, I guess you're an alcoholic. <laughs> I 
got a witness. There you go. I don't care, man. You know, there's a lot of people here. I want to thank all the black people that came. And see, so you got my Twitter. That's so got my tweet. That's good. That's good. Sisters, go ahead and have a seat. There are sisters over here, fellas, just so you know. Don't be peeking over the fence. <laughs> you got, got a fence. This is like prison. I'm too loud. It's good, though. How many uh, Pakistani people here tonight? Yes? How many Indian people? Yes? All right. That's wonderful. See, I, you know, that didn't bother me. You know, I'm not, I, I grew up, you know, I, I, I didn't grow up, but I married into an Indian-Pakistani thing. That's the thing right here. It's right on the fence right there, right? But yeah, yeah, man. My mother-in-law is Pakistani, and my wife is Indian. <laughs> Look at the people. They're like, please let him be lying. Inshallah, <laughs> make make dua. He's making a liar. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's, you know, I had to get used to the culture thing. You know, it almost didn't happen because, you know, it was. You know, my wife didn't tell me certain things when I showed up to meet the family. Like she didn't tell her family that I was black. <laughs> We've been married almost nine years. They're still holding out on Bangladeshi, right? <laughs> yeah, no, so I, I, I know I was in trouble because when I went to the restroom, I was in the restroom 45 minutes because I didn't know what a low top was. I'm just standing at the thing going, yo, this is a weird place I want to take a drink of water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my food got cold. I didn't, my food sat in front of me for like 35 minutes. I was like, what's wrong? I was like, you don't have a fork? <laughs> they were like, we don't need a fork. <laughs> they drink their food like that. I need a fork and some utensils. Something I can't do it with my hands. Like, See, it's cultural, you know. But the person I got along with was grandma, which goes to show you, no matter what culture or religion you are, grandma is usually the coolest person in your family. Grandma and I got along well. You know why? She didn't speak English. <laughs> I didn't speak Urdu. Let the games begin. We're having a whole conversation with no subtitles. I'm like, grandma, if I get married, you see a lot of me. She was like, chi 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 so we could kick it. She was like, gee, 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 gee. then she wanted to talk. She threw her hand up like this. I was like, what's up, Grandma? She threw her hand up. Then she blew her breath in my face. She was like, huh? I said, what's up? She was like, Woof. I was like, man, what do I do here? Do I blow back? Because it's Ramadan. I'll kill the old girl. You guys ready for Ramadan? Don't lie, shut up. <laughs> Last Ramadan, I barely made it, man. That was like doing federal time. I don't know about you. Seemed like the sun would never go down. I was just walking around with a bucket of chicken like, the sun is still up. <laughs> I just think of sun. I must live in Alaska. The sun has not gone anywhere. But I did, you know, I do the Ramadan thing, but I'm going to be honest, man. You know, last year I took it to another level because it was just a long day to fast, and I'm not complaining. But, you know, I do what a lot of guys do during Ramadan around the second week. We start thinking we can do things better because we're fasting. We think that we can do things better because we're fasting. You're not doing it better because you're fasting. You're doing it because you're hallucinating. <laughs> like for me, I'm driving. I get pulled over by a cop. I'm like, why'd you pull me over? Because I'm a black man in Texas? He was like, yeah, that too. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I pulled you over because you were swerving. And you know me, I was like, yo, I'm a Muslim. I don't drink. I don't, I, how am I swerving? I'm not drunk. He's like, sir, you didn't fail to hold your lane. You were swerving. I was like, I don't understand. And then I do the typical Muslim thing. I start telling him about my religion, trying to get out of my ticket. I was like, you know what, brother? Forgive me. Maybe... I was speeding, but for a reason. I'm a Muslim. This is our holy month of Ramadan. I'm fasting, I don't drink anything, I don't have any food. When the sun is up, I can't chase my wife around the house. Um, it's a special time. 